Christmas. What what you got? Oh, that's a big old race car track. Get some stuff situated here and let some people get in here. About to tie some. Oh, we got some little bucktails, some little bladed jigs. Gonna build build a few bladed jigs tonight. Tomorrow night's gonna be big. Uh, a lot more crappie jigs and some streamers, it looks like. Hey, what's up, 351? Welcome in, man. Just gonna hang out. Pretty casual tonight. No real goal. Just build some stuff. <clears throat> Hope you're doing all right, man. We got snow today down here in Arkansas. Snowed, first snow of the year, or first snow since, you know, didn't snow last last winter, November, December, whatever. Trying to get some hair cleaned up. Hey, what's up, Mr. Ernest? How are you, my friend? Trying to get some hair cleaned and got jig hair all, or deer hair all over my table. Then we'll get busy tying some stuff, see what we can make. We got bucktails and bladed jigs tonight, I think, go big. And then tomorrow night's looking like streamers and some crappie jigs. Hey, what's up, Baba? How are you? I've got a pile of um, crappie jigs painted up here. Check this out, a bunch of them. Got a bunch of, bunch of jigs. And then some bucktail stuff, bladed jig stuff there, so. Oh, buddy, I just went live. Doing good? Good deal. Be right back, hey, Stuart. Get this trash swept off in the cup here. You can't really say no to it. It's so sweet. Yeah, I got a got a bunch of jigs. I got some new color Chanel here. This is that um that mud bug, and that is gonna make some awesome awesome jigs right there. I'm excited about this color a lot. I've got uh, finding the ends always difficult in these brand new schemes, but I may just make my own end. I'm gonna pair that up with this red bug colored head. I think that's gonna look great together. Get those all tied up. Get that on our website and on our Facebook page and all that good stuff. I don't know where the end of it is. I'm excited about that color though, for sure. Got it and I got a bunch of um, bundle of hackle feathers. So we got a ton of, and that's all all feathers bundled up. Be able to build a lot of stuff with that too, for sure. That chartreuse is a good, good color too, so. Tie something up here. Um, let's go, I guess this blue one. A little arky, arky jig. Flip it around, show you the back, show you the paint. See that head's painted up. Tie it up here. I 
a swap thread. I got blue or gray thread. And I've got blue right there. I'm getting low on blue. I ordered some, should be here sometime. The exhaust pipe, yeah. He's a smart boy. How doing what I find? <laughs> You're doing fine. All right. Village dweller. Better than village pillager, I guess. cows doing good doing good trying to stay warm hey what's up Navi how you doing my friend Welcome to the party. Hang on. I have pillage. Need new. It's flat, not fluffy. Your your pillage is fluffy, not fluffy. I hate a flat pillage. I thought you did. <laughs> Seemed like it. Navi, how you doing? Doing great. Good deal, man. It's good to see you. I'm making a blade of jig. Loving all these jigs. Man, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I uh, been working hard, man, trying to trying to be good at this. Not just good. I want to be the best that people can find. There's a lot of good good dudes. Hey, Youper. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in here tonight. Get this.
All right. Get that all good. I'm gonna whip it a couple of times. Just in case I cut my thread while I'm uh, trimming that hair off. Yeah, we try. I got a new mold. Actually, Matt from Want to Be Outdoors sent me a new mold. And it come in today, and it is pretty sweet. I did have to order hooks for it because uh, I didn't have any hooks big enough. It goes up to five-eighths of an ounce. I had to order some four-aught. 90 degree shank jig hooks. I'm gonna go. Gunner got matted. Oh no. Bay, they had to shave Gunner. He got matted because of the weather. Said he looks like an Ethiopian poodle. Bay. Sophie said, well, he was already ugly before, so. <laughs> Not nearly as much dog in there as you think. Hey, what's up, Jeremy? Welcome in, Mr. Wolo. Did you get any snow up around you today? Trying to get that little bit of hair right there covered up. I got it a little thick. That's all right. The thread's strong. You can pull it back down. Need some gray hair. <laughs> Your hair, like human hair, I'm good. I'm good on the hair jigs. There we go. Got her all covered up now. Yeah, I'm good on the human hair. I know. That's pretty much how it was here. It was... This morning on my way to work, it was coming down like crazy. And then after work, it was completely gone. Couldn't even tell it ever snowed. That's how they be. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm good. Yeah, you are. Come on, we never Thank you, Hitch. Yeah, I'll show it, show it off here in a minute. Get it, uh, get her a little closer to finished here. It's gonna be one of our bladed jigs. If you can see what they look like. All assembled up. Hey, Dale. Uh, basically my chatterbait, that thing that Modog's been throwing, that Bambi blade. Building one of those right now just for the fun of it. Just because I had a couple of these heads um, 
poured up that I needed to get tied to get out of my way. I can get them hanging up there on the rack behind me. All right. I have no idea. Which one is this? I was hoping. Mighty, mighty something. Hey, Ken. Hey, Travis. What's up, man? What? Welcome in. Hoping that's what you're seeing. Yeah, Dale. I'll make you a moderator too. I know. Um, anything black and gold. Black and gold. Stuff like that. That's a eighth ounce crappie jig. Um, not really. I've got some shad, like thread fin shad. That's an eighth ounce bucktail. I did, Malone. Yeah, they're gone. But I can make more, I mean, at any time. Um, hang on. Black and gold. Thank you, Dale. Yeah, that's a eighth ounce. I'll flip it around. You can see it a little closer. Like a thread fin shad. That's a victory three-aught. Super sticky, sharp hooks. Couple of different. Oh, it's like a bleeding shad. A bladed jig, bleeding shad. Got that red coming out the back. Oh, we got all sorts of stuff. Let me grab this box right here. Let's see what he said. Corey, doing good. It is still Christmas, yeah. Black with gold lace. They're saying hello. So, this is our show box. It's full of jigs and Um, I know I've got black and gold. Yeah, those, uh, those black ones that I had in that five pack, that was a good, those were nice. Dale, I don't know if you've seen our Bigfoot fur jigs. These are what we call Bigfoot fur. Just a like a swim jig. I can make them with or without uh, that weed guard. I may not have any black and ouch. Black and gold. That don't mean we can't make one. Oh, uh, I know I got one black and gold one in here that shows the.
That's a marabou crappie jig. Wrapped around the bridge pylon. Man. Black skirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eastern North Carolina. Yeah, Mr. Ken. Fish River Wednesday, not one bite. Caney yesterday and caught one tiny rock bass. That's crazy. All right, let me get this one polished up here. What did Dale say? Who turned the heater off? Yeah, no joke. So here's the first part of the bladed jig. Put the old uh, blade on there. Um, everything that I have now, Corey, on the bucktails and the bladed jigs are already Victory. They're already the brand that I'm swapping to. The only thing that's changing now is going to be all of these crappie jigs. These are Mustad skipjack hooks. And I'm going to a Victory V-Lock AccuSharp. They're, they cost me twice as much. But it's, I'm not, I'm not going to increase the price of anything. It'll still be, be okay. But they're a lot sharper either, even than these Mustad hooks are. It's still a sickle hook. A little different shape, but it's going to be a lot better hook. Yeah, these these are already... Um, the Star Our Channel members, those are guys who have subscribed to our channel. Um, yeah, the Stars Our Channel members. Yep. The Wrench are, yeah, just moderator. I try to make everyone that comes in that I know, anyone that I know, I make them a, um, a moderator. And then I use owner number two snaps. You can see right there's a 55 pound tensile strength or whatever test. Owner operator. <laughs> Dollar sign. Badges of Hunter. Yeah. Big Malone bought uh, five channel memberships one night in here. And it random gifted them to uh, five random subscribers. Dude, those, I'm telling you, that's the move, Travis. I think for getting around the underspin copyrights and stuff. Just putting those on... Um, swivels through the hook and then tying it in that's where it's at i'm just getting my split ring pliers i can tilt you down if y'all want to see if y'all can make any sense of what i'm doing here all i do is of course just open that split ring up enough to
enough to get it in that hole of that blade. Just a little bit at a time, work it around there. Careful not to open it up too much because it's stainless. These are stainless and they will spring if you open them too much. But I use stainless rings because I don't ever want any problems with rust or anything. Once you get it on there, I come up through the eye of that jig. Work it around. Like that. And that'll allow that thing to swivel. And the snap just snaps through that hook, through that hole, and comes back out that one. Snap it up. That's done. <laughs> Mo dog, look at there. Speaking of Bambi blades and whatnot, just built one. Flip it around, show it off a little bit. See that hammered, hammered texture there? Oh yeah, Travis is a bassin' guy. A few nice gills this year. No crappie. Caught a tank of the shell cracker. 1.25-ish, almost 13 inches. Awesome. That's a V-lock. Same, same shape. That V-lock, Victory V-lock. And these are AccuSharp. AccuSharp hooks. That'll do it. Yeah, I'm I'm a fan of them, man, a lot. This is almost just like a sickle hook, basically, on a jig. Which is pretty sweet. They, I haven't had any coming off. I mean, they don't really pop off once you get them stuck. Get them stuck with that hook, they're on there. I'll go ahead and seal it, that way I can hang it up and be drying. Same stuff, just Sally Hansen, hard as nails. What, Corey? Mo dog, leave me alone, trying to learn something. <laughs> hey, Dale, do what? Oh. Get it sealed up, and then we'll see what Corey's sent. What he's wanting here. Always clear over the whole entire head, too, just to give it a little bit more shine. The blade, I don't, because it's pulsing so hard, I, I don't worry about it, but get those threads good and covered up. Be good. Hang her up. See what we can catch. Hey, Stacy. Where's the Indian girl? Dale say trying to learn something. Ken, Mr. Stacy. Stop typing. Huh? Dale is trying to figure out how to use something other than the spinnerbait. Oh, no. Oh, Thump, you're awesome, man. Thank you. At work. You're at work? Who's at work? Modog ain't at work. Oh, Indian girl's at work. Gotcha. BFA, brother from another mother. <laughs> All right. Let me keep rolling.
keep this show going. Tie us another one here. And these are mine. These are going to my personal stash. Trying to warm up, nasty weather. God is great, absolutely. Mo dog, you need to take notes on keeping up with the chat while doing something else. <laughs> Mo dog gets behind. I ain't gonna lie. That's all right. That's all right. Get some different thread here. Leave my friend alone. <laughs> I'm good, Dale. It makes for an awesome life. Like you would set that hook into your PB bass. <laughs> Mo dog does fine. I try to. Um, I try to keep up. All the time. So this is gonna be a little swim jig. There's a quarter ounce. It is poured on a three aught seal of victory. I have got the V lock shaped hooks coming for these as well, but not yet. I'm not here yet. So this is what we'll be using tonight. But I am gonna use a piece of my new hackle feather here. I don't really wanna untie it. I kinda just wanna try to pull one out the bottom. I don't really wanna untie this, but. Hoping feathers don't just go absolutely everywhere. Let me zoom this back out. Modog, I got on there last this morning and checked your likes. You had a hundred and three likes. Absolutely insane. Ooh, look at that, guys. Are you kidding me? Look at these feathers. I do not want to unroll all these. Oh, snap. I like it. That's good stuff. I tried a new, um, a new guy for my feathers. And uh, I think I'll be using him again. I got me three there. I know, I do need a... Oh, no. Bay, I may... I don't know. What? I don't know. Me? I'm making a... goof out of this. What are you thinking about? Hey, V8. I made a mess out of my feathers, man. Trying to get them rolled back up and... I will be uh, tying my that rope back around it here. There we go. There we go. Got it watered back up. I want to start to think, but if we could share our modog to give him a hand a hard time for our amusement why can't we share him out to help him out oh yeah no doubt
We've shared them out before. Basically, anyone who's subscribed to us is going to be subscribed to Modog. Let me go try to figure out what's going on. Uh, yours will probably fly. What time are you going live, Ken? Um, tomorrow. You're in a mood tonight. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I do need a sign. Yeah, his live last night went crazy. Stacy V8, Dale. Took me three years to get that many likes. You've had more than 20, Modog. Whatever. Hey, that, that, this that is random. I'm only here to help and watch Matt. Yeah. All right. So anyway, I uh, derailed it by ruining my bundle of feathers. I'd never ordered that many in at a time. Ordered them in that bulk at a time, so. Do it, Dale. Hey, what's up, Austin? Thinking about setting up the GoPro. Jig is the way. I believe it. Get all that fluffy stuff out the way. You could probably use that for like Marabou on the end of a nymph for something tiny, a little, okay, little bitty guy, but we don't tie a whole lot of tiny stuff. Standard number of wraps. No, I just, I think the more the better. Dylan, bruh, you're being loud, crazy boy. No, I don't think there's any any special number, Dale. I just uh, the more the the more the merrier on wrapping them up. Hey, Althea, welcome in. I like that green. Thank you, Ken. Hired a guy today to fix my description of my page. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, get some white hair here and put over this. It'll tame those feathers down a lot and they'll just be sticking out like a trailer. Yeah, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Wrap <laughs> until the ancestors tell you that's enough, my child. Sophie was seasoning dinner tonight and she said that. She's like, you season until your ancestors tell you that's enough. That's funny. Get all that under, under f fluffy stuff out. That'll affect the thickness. It's not long enough to come down to the actual fibers you need. So. Get all that out of there. Don't make them cry. Nope, don't make them cry. Get those ends squared up a little bit. I just put like three loose wraps and then you can kind of work it around that hook shank. Like that. Get her all around there.
jump off here. All right, Jeremy, I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, thank you for being here, and we'll see you on our next one. I still got to message you about these um that purple. I know you were interested in that purple uh, streamer with the lead eyes that sink. I'll try to hit you up about that. Yeah, you can put it all. Um, helps them get memorized until the changes came about to make me read more. Just got the old garage organized. Putting a TV out there. Nice. Overused garlic. What's up? Hey, Miss Emily, how are you? Uh, just learned something. I will, yes, sir. Sure will, Jeremy. Yeah, you can, uh, Dale, you put it on just at the top. Put three wraps, not very tight, just enough to kind of hold the hair in place. And then you can push, just push down pretty hard. Push it down and just kind of work it all the way around that jig as you, um, as you do it. Like that. 15 likes. Thank you all. Purple looks fire. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'll take that razor blade and just trim that. Trim that extra hair off there. Seventeen likes. Back at midnight when the giveaway starts tonight. <laughs> there ain't no give. There ain't no. I'm not gonna be on till midnight, man. Yeah, tomorrow will be my late one. Tomorrow is the one that I took the poll on the community tab about. It looks like we're gonna be building. Uh, basically these streamers, streamers like that, there's a lead eye sinking streamer, and then I've got some, this weightless one with some hackle feather and some craft fur. When these things get wet, they'll look more like that, look a lot more like a shiner, like a little minnow. We'll be tying up a bunch of stuff like that, building a bunch of UV resin heads and stuff. Be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, I know it. Off work? You're never off work. Mo, host with the most. In the pound, Indian girl, pups. Nice fam, too. Working seven again this week. Ouch. Seven days, I'm assuming. That ain't no, that ain't no fun. Finish getting that all trimmed up squared up there ain't no there ain't no hair sticking out nowhere crazy and then from there we'll just i come down and just kind of keep my thread up on the head and let it work itself down and that'll push any remaining hairs back and then you can tie over them like that Like that. And that gets it all gets it all tight. All tight and tidied up. Fishes must bite. Awesome. For sure. Share out. Share out everybody, guys. Do mobile detailing. Awesome. I don't know. Car making industry is no bueno. Man. Yeah, we're uh, oil and gas and electric generators and stuff. 
man is tying jigs with the feathers and thread. Super important to my success. These swim jigs are deadly too now, Mo Dog. You hadn't, I know you like the bladed jigs, so. I'm not gonna go any flash on this one. I'm just gonna leave it with those hackle feathers. The bigger jigs like this, I go five whip finish turns and then I'll go five more just to really make sure that thread's in there tight. Pull down on it, whack it off. It's cool. For sure, do you, you love fishing? Awesome, that's good. I just asked if there somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah, this is just a swim jig. And this one does not have a weed guard. I don't like weed guards on um, on my swim jigs. Some people do. But that's a... Uh... Oh, it needs eyes, guys. It ain't got no eyes on there. What the world? That doesn't taste good. That tastes good? I don't... What is it? You want me to eat it? Thank you, buddy. That was mighty sweet of you. Was that the caramel one? I think so. Oh, one. Yeah, it was. It was eight and a half. No, I'm good. I took one bite. Where's my eyeballs at? You know. There's our Instagram, Facebook, everything. Bunch of dinos. He's gone. Oh, there's my eyeballs. Whatever. I can tell it's eyes because it says eyes. That's how I know that it's eyes. I've got some green. Uh, silver eyes or red. Red might look pretty cool. You can tell it's eyes because of the way it is. <laughs> Definitely. There's fishing with Mo Dog on YouTube. I do, Rod. Um, as soon as I get. As soon as I get it, I'll show you here. As soon as I get it done. Send a message to my sister to say, gear up, we're going fishing. Nice. Yeah, I'll show you uh, Show you here in just a second. Rod. I use, um, I don't use head cement. I use Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. It's fantastic stuff. Put these eyes on here. I think some red eyes on there might look all right. Still got to find time to meet up. Dale Patton. All right, Dale, thank you for following us on Instagram. Still need to find time for sure. So what I do, put my eyes on. Next time I ride the Harley. Oh, for sure, Ken. Absolutely. So when I put my eyes on, I stick them on the end of this bodkin and put some Loctite. Yeah, I'll be live tomorrow too, Lance. Maine Coon Cat. Okay, yeah. I've got some clear, like, Clear fingernail polish too, but the Sally Hansen's is what I use. But for the eyes, I'll put a um, just a drop of super glue. I said I would. Gracie's snoring. Yeah. 
Well, my super glue's dried up. There it is. All right. Now I got pressure and it's oozing everywhere. Stick that eye on there. Like that. Get that other eye off there. Get some super glue here. Well, can't get it off there. There we go. There we go. All right, let me see here. Get all my stuff organized. I didn't know my uh, stuff was going to be dry super glue and then always clear over the eyes too <laughs> oh, all right. Now let's take a look at this jig. Big baloney. What happened? All right, y'all looking at that? I'm gonna catch up on chat. See what's going on. Um, for sure, gotta meet up. It is cold outside. Yeah, they're Maine coons. There's those eyes. Just talking about Arkansas today to another rider getting ready to cross country. Nice. That is bestest jig is only you, Corey. You're the only one that knows. <laughs> the Terminator greater than his bestest. Hey, Carters, Custom Lures, welcome in. Thank you, Mo Dog. I do. I've got five of them. Five lovely dudes. Arkansas is a beautiful state, very comfortable. <laughs> yeah, Texas is 50-50. Uh, seeing it live for almost a week now on YouTube and or... It looks like you. Huh. Is that elf cool? Yep. sleeper. Oh, that smoke baloney is good. All right, nice hair jig. All right, I'm caught up. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, that uh, bucktail little swim jig, be all right. You can see that's a 30 degree hook, so it's got a little bit of lift to it anyway, with the shank of the hook setting pretty much level right here. It's got a little lift. They track straight. I like them. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I've got to make a Daddy. Terminator for the website. Daddy. Elf, poop. elf poop. Ew. It's, that's what's called. Ew. It's elf poop. <laughs> Fried bologna. I, I don't like elf poop. Yeah. Don't eat it. I 
Just show the chat a lure while you catch up on chat. <laughs> Modog's lives are perfect the way they are. <laughs> Fried bologna, mustard, and a thick piece of onion. Thick slice of onion. That sounds good. I do have... What I'm doing with all these crappie jigs that I've got here... We've got so many jigs that I am so far behind on getting uh on getting our stuff on our website so that's what this weekend is snowed cold outside oh uh, snow on the ground this morning austin got off and wanted me to tell you he'll catch you later okay all right thank you austin for hanging out thank you for letting me know i do fish for those stuff He's only a swim jig during the whole tournament. Nice. Meat church gospel rub and a couple hours on the smoker. Yeah, for sure. It's good. All right, so we've got to make some uh, crappie jigs for the website, and we can make this one. This is the Terminator. So i got to swap this out. It's our uh, dragonfly color head. Compared to a sapphire blue, it's a little more teal color. It's got a lot of glitter. But it is just a white marabou tail. Watch this trick. What trick are we... Oh, Dale, I think probably especially you, if you're watching and learning about tying or anything... He's wanting to see the, um, he's talking about me changing thread, I think. Hey, Charlie, yep, yeah, Mr. Carter's Customs. Modog is a fish slayer. Tuna for tuna, <laughs> I think I'm mad, no doubt. Oh, website, thank you for going live. I was about to pull hair, filling in all the required info. What info on, on our website? What are you talking about, sleeper? Tie a Terminator. Okay, I'm doing. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I've never caught a tuna unless it comes in a can. I've caught some tuna in a can. Um, my thread. He's talking about. I think on the bobbin. You know they've got that wire thing that you feed through and for threading it through whatever. But just put your spool on there. Get however much will go through. You know, comfortably, you don't want eight inches more sticking through because you're about to, you don't want it going down your throat, but put it, uh, put it in that bottom. And all you do, all you gotta do is just get it started. When you get it started, just, just like that. And you're, you're through, ready to rock. Pretty neat little. Ugly dog's another good one, absolutely. I'm trying to get a website started for my embroidered hats. Nice. That's awesome. Mo dog, you catch more than one or two bass per video. For the sake of our website and consistency. Everything pictured is going to be made out of this eighth ounce jig, but um, we'll be able to make. And what I'm going to offer too is once you get down to like this, this is a 180th ounce. So that's 180th ounce compared to a 1 8th here. It's a size 10 compared to a size 1. Um, you can't use the same chenille on these. So we're going to have like a micro chenille, a, um, a micro jig section on our website with, cause right now, if you go to our website and click on like the pink lemonade version, it'll have, you know, the pink, yellow, pink tail, whatever it is. Um, Yeah. Yeah. 
The micro Daddy, Chanel is teeny tiny. Down. Say, what, what, what? That's <laughs> crazy. We'll just have to have a micro Chanel like option. Mo dog leaving? No, don't leave. Oh, trying to keep this about your jigs. No, you should leave here, Mo dog. Crazy. Mini me. I <laughs> can't tie something that small into my line. Yeah, it's um hard to cast too. Domingo, it's insane. Corey and Domingo on crappie from the bank are good. <laughs> Them some good dudes. So the Terminator, this is going to be another section of our website. It's going to be glass-bodied jigs. It's, we're going to call them glass-bodied. It's UV resin. Get a chunk of marabou. Get all the under fluff stuff out of it. And on these UV resin jigs, the thread pretty much is your chenille. Kind of the same thing, three or four, three little loose wraps. <laughs> And then tie the rest down pretty tight. With this, all I'm doing is just covering everything. I don't want any white showing anymore under the... Um... Domingo does get on some great bass. Nene in here, hey. I missed you. Hey, Nene. Welcome in. That's my mom. Thank you for coming in here. Matt and Sophie catch a pile of fish. I think uh, I think we spend a lot. <laughs> Maybe everybody does, but I feel like we put a lot of time on the water for the fish that we catch. <laughs> swim jig with skirt. Might need to try some of these with feather swim jigs. That's facts, Dale. What Dale say? <laughs> time to take the dogs out. All right. Carter, thank you so much for being in here, Mr. Charlie. Oh, yeah, not been able to tie. Help my daughter with her insulin tonight. Realize blind as a bat with small stuff like filling insulin cartridge. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that tiny stuff is it's hard to see for sure. I just kind of build a basic, just little tapered bodied shape here I it out of thread. Once you get that body all tapered, <laughs> taper shaped here, we'll tie it off. Getting out on the bass boat a little more, that'd be awesome. Travis, it'll be good to see you, man. Hit it with five, right? What? What? Oh. When I learn how to catch more fish, spend more time on the water. <laughs> you catch more fish than I do, Modog, I'm sure. If I have to get bifocal glasses, not going to be happy. Dang it. Just want to be happy and healthy and be a good dad. That's awesome, Ken. The key with these UV jigs, you've got to keep this turning with the resin or it will drip. You just apply that resin. Cover the threads up all the way. All the way up to those feathers. If you take this. Got a bubble in it. That's all right. Stop. Stop. 
once you get it all applied, that resin's applied, I hit it with my, uh, I got a UV flashlight. Hit it with that for a few seconds. It'll dry that resin up, get it hard and cured up. Like that. Now it's all dried up and hard. That's good. That's what we call the terminator there. I'll flip it around. You can look at the taper on that body. No, 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 Mom. Mommy, if you put your hand on it, put it back, you can yep. Just like that. Yeah, it's dry. I mean, it's it's dry and hard. You can scratch it. It feels just like the head. What's up, buddy? That's so weird. You mean, do you want to show them? You want to get up here and show them? Come up here, bud. A UV light, and that's all. Yeah, it's um, it's a UV cure resin as well. It's a UV resin. But you, uh, and that light, it's just ultraviolet. It's just purple. It gets hot. I mean, you can feel it on your hand. Um, yeah, Travis, I'll send you the link for sure. Can I get up there, please? Thing manufacturers. Can I get up there, please? Can you get up here, please? Yeah. Well, yeah, get up here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. All right, there he is. Hang on, it, it, hang on. He's wanting to show you all this. All right. It put it back. Here, I'll, yeah. hold, I'll hold this. Okay, it put it back. All right. Say. A little, little, little. That's silly. Oh, hang on. All right, now try it. <laughs> What's that crazy thing doing here? Look like that. <laughs> what is that? Is that a punching bag? It's a punching bag. Punch it. Punch it. Punch it. There you go. Good punch. Punch it. Move your hand. I got it. I got the base. You hit it. Hit it. Both hands. Hit it with both hands. Punch it. Don't get a hook in your hand. Hang on. Hang on. All right. I told you to tell him as best as. Very clean. Thank you. I produce, I accept it. I, uh, I appreciate it. Really good little community. Really cool people. I want to thank everyone for letting me be a part of the fishing family we have. Oh, Ken. Man, it is awesome. And I definitely appreciate um, being a part of our... A little group of friends we punch got it. going on here too. Now punch it. I'll send it to you, yeah, Travis. Terminator all the way. Very clean looking jig. And look at that. Look. Hey, Dylan, can you tell Baba asbestos? Bestus. Or Terminator. Terminator. Which one? Terminator. Look at all them dinosaurs. What is all them dinosaurs doing? Watch well, says bedtime. Has to work tomorrow. And I'm driving to Tulsa. You'll have a great rest of the evening. All right, Dale. Hey, thank you. Thank you for hanging out tonight. Yeah. I appreciate it. We uh, we have fun punch over here. It. Tie punch some it. stuff. It. Yeah, I punch it. that's what it is. A tiny punch little it. tiny little speed bag. Punch. Hang on, buddy. Punch. Hang on, hang on. Let me let me lick it and try to stick it to the table. All right. Now you don't have to hold it. Just now you can just whack it. Punch it. What's going on, everyone? Got an ACC oh, crappie yeah. stick. More crappie jigs when I start getting into the slides. Awesome. Eight, eight foot Eddie stick. Look. That's sweet. He's a Terminator, yeah. Oh, I am so sorry. Let me not mess with it. <laughs> hey, Mo Dog said hello. Let's not pull it off, buddy. I, I don't think it's meant to. In fact, let's put some glue on there because 
it's probably not supposed to come off, okay? We'll just put some glue right in here, like this. Yep. Yep, like that. Like that, like can, that. Can, can I put it in there? Let's just put it on there like that. How's that? That'll that'll help hold it. Anyway, all right, Mr. Punch Ted. It. Oh, hang on. Let's let's let it dry for just a second. Be driving soon. Enjoy it. Oh yeah, for sure. Hey. Three fifty one. Yeah, hit me up, Ted. Got an eight foot ACC crappie stick. Be getting with you for more crappie jigs. That sounds awesome. Congratulations on winning that crappie stick too. I I got a. Uh, I got a crappie stick, but I had to buy had to buy mine. Well, I had Christmas money. Hey, Domingo, we was talking about you catching a bunch of crappie, and Rod's Fishing Adventures out there catches a lot of crappie. Three fifty one on the hunt for that two pounder. We gonna you gonna get it this year, man. I got faith in you on that. I kind of want to join you on that out. hunt. Can put that out. Yeah, go ahead. I've been victimized with Rock Creek and Domingo put jigs more than anything in my life. Yeah, I broke it. It's it's glued back now. Oh, that ACC. Corey, you want to give away your eagle claw rod? I'm going to be entering it for sure. Then if you put this down, see. Put it in Like this. Keep, hey. it, keep it going. Keep it going fast. <laughs> there you go. Punch it. Hey. Watch. All right, you punch it. Don't hit me. Punch! Your classic eagle claw, the one with the broken butt. Hey, you can, you can also put your hand on it and top it. You can put your hand on it and stop it? Hey, look, look. That's Watch beautiful. This. Hey, do you see that? Do you see that red thing? That red thing does look like a hot air balloon. It does look like a hot air balloon. Very good, buddy. It, it does look like a hot air balloon. And put that back. Yeah. And you say. Yeah. <laughs> that is what it looks like. <laughs> Mom said that's beautiful. I think she may be behind in the chat. Hey, I, no th I, think, I think I want to take this to Nina house and, and show Nini how to push it. Okay, we can do that. Hey. How many fish did you catch in 2023? Ooh, mi muchacho, Senor Domingo. There you go. Grandson, know how to do a double leg takedown before kindergarten. Oh yeah. This is help us hold it. Hey, do you put some glue on there so I lost we can count. help hold it? Hey, are you ready to get down? No. <laughs> can you put can you put your hands on there? Well, can we make another jig? Yeah. Will you help me make a jiggy? Let's put this. Let's put this over here. I'm gonna play that some more after we make a jiggy. Yeah, that sound good. No, hang on, don't touch that one. I, I think I want to make this jiggy. You want to make that jiggy? Yeah. Okay, here I'll do it. Okay. He's wanting to make a. Do you know what this one's called? Mhm. Mm what? Is that called a swim jig? Yeah. It is. Yeah. You knew that. And you put that on, on the face, and you do this put that like that. Uh oh. It's too long. I mean, not long enough. You gotta move it out. Unscrew it. Slide it out. Now it'll clear. Now we're good, huh? Can, is, is you, there we go. Is, is you How can I reach you? Who are we reaching? Oh, Domingo. Ooh. Is you. That bucket. How can I reach you? Drop a link. Um, he's got an Instagram, Corey. I know he'll he'll tell you. He'll tell you how to reach him. Here, I'm gonna put you down, buddy. I'm gonna help you. Okay, come here. Stink pot. You are a stink pot. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. All right, let's tie something else so people are gonna get bored watching us be distracted. No, I want blue. I want black. Okay, let's do black. We can put that on the face in just a minute. Yeah, we'll do that in just a minute. Okay. Dylan helping you make a jig. Thank you. Why do you put that in there? 
So that it has to go through there. And then and they had to make it fast? Yep. Who made fabric? <laughs> so this one's a little more interesting color. When do I remove the bait keeper? What this one, what? I leave on. What does that do? It's just to put the eyes on. I leave the bait keepers on my swim jigs. And then we'll put that eye on. For. Then I didn't want to put that eye on. What? I didn't want to put that eye on. We will. I leave the bait keepers on for um people to run a trailer if they yeah, want to. I only tie above the first this little is, jig, first little do. notch. I'm, I'm leaving it right here. Here, buddy. What are you doing? Listen. Bless you, Mama. Where'd I go? Mama said, two. Oh, I see her. You so, see Mama? Yeah, her's over there. So this one is that red bug color. What are we going to do with this, Dylan? I think we need some brown, for sure. What do you think? I don't want pink, too. We're not putting pink on this one, buddy. I'm going to put blue on top of the brown. Blue on top of the brown? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, buddy. I mean, we need to see. Can I see that now? There's purple. That ain't going to be it. Here, let's sit up. There we go. No disrespect. What happened? That that is so long. <laughs> He's the only person, only person he likes hey, in Texas. Hey, this is so long. This like Bigfoot. It is long, like Bigfoot. Need some more Ted plastics. Can you make those swim base like the hey, power base. Did you guys see Bigfoot that at the show? Hey, did you just see Hook Bigfoot Hook and lead at the show? inside the plastic. <laughs> Probably like a hover rig, kind of. I didn't do good on my counter. 70 Daddy, bass, 40 Daddy. canvas, 5. Daddy, what, buddy? Look at me. Daddy, look at me. <laughs> You're so silly. Him's the cutest, no disrespect. I take offense look, to the look, thumpy. Come over here. Oh, you're fine. Let's. All right, let's get some brown. Why are you wearing those pants? Why am I wearing my pants? Yeah. Just so I got pants on in case I got to stand up. It wouldn't be pretty if I didn't have pants on and I had to stand up to go get something. I may need, I may need, I may need legs to get cold. Maybe yeah, that, that way my legs don't get cold. Is that, is that blue pants soft? My blue pants? Yeah. Hey, Northeast Slab <laughs> Hunter. What's up? Welcome in. I appreciate it. He saw, uh, Thanks, Thumpy. Hey, look at me. He saw a Bigfoot at, me, at Hona, but yeah. Daddy, look at me. You're so <laughs> silly. That, that Gracie, me. what's wrong? You need to go potty? Can you let Gracie... Okay. Mama's getting up to do it. Gracie needs to go potty, huh? Can I, can I get down? You want to get down? Yeah. You're done with this? Yeah. Okay, I got a handful of deer hair right now can you wait just a second yeah okay let's get this make a can couple I, loops can I go, can I go down, all right can, can say I, bye bye see y'all later no oh, you said a week all right see you later alligator Ooh. all right the clicker thing would be super cool I'm at least an hour, maybe two ahead of you. My son just went to bed. Oh, yeah. It's um 9.03 right now, so. She didn't want to go potty? I think she probably did. I'm going to try for like a sunfish pattern. On this one, so we shall see. Three brim on New Year's Day. 
Whoever took out Hope Magnet Fishing. Cool. That's cool. Terminator versus Asbestos versus Green Eggs and Ham. That'd be a good video, Corey. I can get those to you. See, this is interesting because um, the hair is really, really dark brown and the thread's black, so I really can't see the thread. Do you? Yeah, absolutely. All right. This older, he can tie some up for you. No doubt. Yeah, Domingo, for sure. I went um, New Year's Day and I absolutely got skunked. I did not catch a fish. So, I don't know if that's a really bad sign for what 2024 has to offer. But if it is, I'm not excited. All right, got that brown all trimmed down. Chartreuse and blue-green blend, eighth-ounce head, and I'll buy 10. All right, Northeast, um, I'll let you know my crappie jigs are two bucks. Eighth ounce crappie jigs are two bucks a piece. And then it'll be $5 shipping. So if that's cool with you, I'll for sure hook them up. Oh, need to do that. Species count, total count. I'm not going to do weight unless I go out and put a on a clinic on... I don't know what that word is. <laughs> Do you know where one of my pockets are? Um, no, ma'am. All right, so I got some brown. I think I'm just going to go with a lighter brown tan up top. And then I'm going to put some colorful tinsel down the side. Let's go. All right, sweet. I appreciate it. I'll for sure uh, chartreuse blue-green blend. Um, I've got, I don't have 10 painted right now, but I'll for sure, uh, for sure fix it up. Let me show you when I get this clump of hair tied on. Um, show you two different colors of chartreuse. I don't know what, some people call two different things chartreuse. I lean more green. No, no, you're good. Go ahead. All right, Mr. Rod. Hey, thank you, sir, for hanging out tonight. I appreciate it. I like hair jigs from February to April where you're at. Awesome. Inhabit the water column. I was going to try for weight, but it's a lot of extra. I just want to log what I catch fish on certain days and weather conditions. Yeah. Um. All right, Northeast Slab Hunter. What I was saying about chartreuse... I lean more, and I'll flip this around. It's easier to see, I guess. I lean more this green being chartreuse. Some people call yellow. I call this yellow and this chartreuse. So it's up to you, whatever. Left. So you're leaning the more yellow one, right? Yellow compared to the green, more yellow. All right, sweet. I hang that one up just on the arm of my vise. Hang it up right there so I've got it straight. 
I'll get you 10 of them, and then uh, I've only got one, two, three, four right now. But what I'll do is I will, uh, I'll tie one right now, make sure you like it, and then I can pump out the other um, nine later. You know what I mean? Let me trim that brown hair off. Avocado. It would have looked good on here. I got some... Uh, I've got some avocado. The only thing about that ring light is it's right in my face when I'm trying to see... Now we're looking a little more. Hey, what's up, Wet Willard? You simmering hardcore tonight? Is Sessie there? Tell her we said hola and como estas. Hope she is uh, feeling good. So hardcore, good. Hope she's feeling good tonight. I've got the color flash that I'm wanting in mind. Classic crystal flash, chartreuse chenille, blue-green mix, marabou hair. Extremely nauseous, <laughs> bummer. Classic chenille, classic crystal flash. I've got the crystal flash. Um, chartreuse chenille. <laughs> More coffee. She's doing good, yeah. She's kind of in the shower. She's in the shower right now. She's been having, um, headaches. Pretty bad. Man, I've got one color flash, and if I can't, there it is. Okay. Whew. I was gonna say if I can't find it, I'm it's ruined this jig. But you okay? All right. It didn't ruin the jig, but this one will be. Uh, it'll look good with this rainbow flash down the side. Really tie it all together and make it look like a bluegill. I'm going to go a little bit heavy on it, maybe like four strands. Double it over. Yeah, she's feeling a little better, so. That first trimester is just a doozy on them. We'll get some more of that cut. All right, so Ken was saying about the fish inhabit the water column, not near the bottom or shore. <laughs> Christmas is over. We'll see if we can hit your uh, hit your jig here in just a second, Northeast. All of size thing wreaking havoc on them. I tell you what, they don't mess around. Them little babies, it's hard on them. And they don't think it's funny when you tell them just to toughen up. I have not told Sophie that, by the way, guys. 
I would never tell her that. I just said that right now because she's in the shower and didn't hear me. All right. Now we can spin this thing down and get everything tied up and tied in and covered up and whatever. I tie these jigs with a 210 flat waxed Danville thread. Or if you fry catfish in a 540 square foot apartment, that'll do it too. Yeah, Ken, the, um, our crappie jigs, the eighth ounce little crappie jigs are two bucks, I believe. Maybe a little more on the, on the website, but people come into lives and order stuff like this. I will cut them a little bit of slack if we can. Favorite North Arkansan. <laughs> hey, what's up, wild man? Arkansas wild man, welcome in. Redheads are great. Yeah, the red redheads are great. Dang it, Corey. Yeah, this, uh, I'll flip it around here in a second when I get it tied up and get some eyes on it. Show you a little closer. That color is called red bug. And I've got some new crappie chenille as well called Louisiana mud bug. And it's going to go with that red bug head color perfectly. Put five of them, pull it tight, put five more for the fun of it. Cut her off. Before I get too wild and crazy here, I'll put my flash back up. Right now, that one's good and straight and clean and not tangled up, so try to take care of those. Going to do a lot of jig fishing this year. Awesome, V8. That's good. Jigs are the way for sure. Venmo. I don't. You don't owe me anything, Ken, unless you're trying to order more. Um, we don't have Venmo. No, we have PayPal, Cash App, and then check out through our website. But going through the website, something else is going to hit you with taxes, and the shipping is going to be probably a little more than $5. Um, so it's definitely, definitely better if you can think about it. Gotcha. Yeah, so let me show you all that. This is that red bug jig chenille. Or not red bug, Louisiana mud bug. You see, it's like a brown. And that is going to look sweet up against this red bug head color. That's going to look perfect. See that red bug, you see it, it's got a bunch of glitter. It's kind of hard to see, I know, but it's got a bunch of blues and greens and reds. Yeah, the website, um, like I said, I've still got to update stuff on there. But what you can do is just check out what I've had people do in the past. You can just message me, email me, and say I need three of whatever or whatever, and then just go on the website and buy three random jigs. Um, we'll figure it all out for sure. Let me get some eyes thrown on this one, and then we'll keep rolling. We'll get a Northeast Slab Hunters thing done here. I'm going to go with just some just some silver eyes on here. Get some super glue. Fish up here won't like that color, really. That's wild. I do better on browns than any other color. Um... Brown is just something I've got more confidence in 
brown and gold. That's why your hair jig worked after it. Oh yeah, no doubt. Browns, red, and orange just don't work here. Is your water super, super clear up there? Sounding like it. Tad. Oh, yeah. Got a little, little smidgen of weather up there. Just don't work. Huh. That's wild. See that the blue and chartreuse that you're asking for here, I would have zero confidence in it. <laughs> it's crazy how different parts of the country, man, are, um, are so much different. It's wild. All right. Got some eyes on there. I'm hoping this super glue is not gonna ruin itself, super glue itself, or I can't get it off. That's gonna not be good because there's a bunch still in there. All right, get this sealed up over the head and then we'll show it off and we'll move on. All right. <clears throat> we got some snow overnight. We saw it this morning, nice. Some folks have just not come to the truth. All right, let's flip this around, show y'all what we got. Little hair jig. And that little bit of rainbow flash is gonna Im imitate a bluegill really well. Bucktail jig. Like that. Blasphemy. Green eggs and ham. The root beer redhead. <laughs> we'll hang her up here and let her dry. What you doing, Dill? All right. So, tighten our vice back up here. Reprobate. Grays are blacks. Bright colors are best. Electric chicken, blue, purple, chartreuse are the way to go on my waters. Awesome. So, you said... Oh, Crystal Flash, Chartreuse Chenille, Blue Green Mix, Marabou or Hair. And you make my exact jig pattern. Ooh, I messed up. All right, let's see. Green and black. Or, I just read it, my lord. I confused your, uh, your last message. Gray and black. You said blue and green. Yeah, blue green mix. All right, sweet. Leave Gracie alone, bud. Now, what color? Yes, ma'am. I was. Dylan. 
go go over there to mama. Take one of those pink towels in there. I've got chartreuse and that blue. It's kind of a... Dylan, what are you doing, bud? There you go. Yeah, take that to mama. And then a green. That works. All right, sweet. There's the... And a... What'd you say? Uh, chartreuse chenille. Chartreuse chenille. I know I've got chartreuse marabou. That bucktail will work good. Chartreuse chenille might be interesting. That's going to be way too big. That's a mottled chenille. That's not gonna be quite right. Oh, Seahawks. What? Rinse his clothes, cover himself in ass. Let's see the mottled. All right. It is, it's a fluorescent chartreuse. Um, just a, compared to the head color, you got more yellow. This is more green chartreuse. But see, the company actually calls it fluorescent chartreuse galaxy mop. It's a mop chenille. Is that about, is that what you think? So mix these two together and that modeled Chanel. I've got this one, but it's not even close. It's a, it's too dark green. This will be the only other thing I've got. It's a medium tinsel chenille. Well, flip it around here. So that's the tinsel or that mop chenille. Mix it every other strand. Blue chartreuse, blue chartreuse for sure. What I'll do is cut it off and throw it in a bag, probably, and shake it. And then throw it back in my stacker. All right, go with the mop. Sweet. See what it looks like. Yeah, my... I've got gold, purple, blue. Um, pearl, that mud bug, all sorts of colors, but no. Uh, for some reason, I don't have much chartreuse. Yeah, purple and chartreuse, that would be sweet. So 
So what I've done is just took a clump of green, clump of blue. Uh, basically, just like what Ken was talking about, just massage them together, mix it up. Just a drink if you can, if you can. Is there a DP? Get a little more blue in there. Purple and chartreuse. Winding her down. Thank you, Angel. I appreciate it. Still working on that sponsorship here. Yep. I would take a Dr. Pepper sponsorship over a over a rod and reel sponsorship. Uncle, Uncle Aaron said that Sassy's pretty sick right now too. Uh, see, purple and chartreuse or that electric green piccolo pattern in the right conditions. How many weeks is Sessie right now? She should be right behind you. This keeps growing here, but... Get this. Where the colors are mixed about equal. This was week nine. Nine? Yeah. According to doctor. All right. So we got that all mixed up. So we're three, three weeks apart. I'm 12 weeks right now. I'm better at drinking Dr. Pepper than catching fish. There's some blue and chartreuse all mixed up. I'll throw it in my handy dandy hair stacker that I never use. Because I don't do this often. Yeah, I think he says like grape, a grape right now. Crazy how small they are and how sick they are. Sophie says crazy how small they are and how sick they make us. <laughs> He's. He said, Uncle Aaron said that made her smile. I think ours is an apricot right now. It's the only my phone. Do we fish brain? We do not fish brain. I have fish brain, and it is just my my name. It's not. We don't get on it at all. You used to. But yeah, I used to for sure. Dylan. Doctor Pepper. Hey, Mister River Rat. Welcome in. Thank you so much for hanging out, being in here with me tonight. I think the baby's like two inches tall or something like that. Oh, yeah. From, from head to... Yeah. 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 I'm going to swap threads over here. Uh, okay, I was going to say, I know I've got some that's new. Diet Coke, where it's at? Bull brand ginger beer. <laughs> Son of law has to tell you what to tie on. Take me to the fish, and then he falls out the boat. That is a true story. He fell out in about um fifty feet of water in the middle of a 
pretty wide open lake. All right. Edit needed. Yeah, I think Coke is spelling wrong for Ken. <laughs> Thump the crappie whisperer. That ain't no joke. It's an apricot right now? Do you like a heavy tail slab hunter? Or do you like pretty light um, amount of hair in your tail? I am a fan of having my bucktails. I don't have any, I guess. Oh yeah, I do right here's a bunch. I like my bucktails about like this, pretty sparse. I don't like a ton of um, a ton of hair in them. I just, I don't know. I feel like the small like this gets a bit better here. Google it. Rooster and male bovine. Olive or blackberry size. Both of those can be very different. Looks good. All right, sweet. So we'll put put it down there. I'll leave it long, and if you end up not liking it being that um that length, you can trim it off. You know what I mean? It's easier to cut some off than to add more. You can't really add no no more length once it's once it's done. Where's the asbestos tree? I have no idea. Oh, there she is. No, the asbestos tree. Wet Willard. <laughs> Gotta go to Sportsman's tomorrow and they sell it. I'll grab some to show off my life tomorrow evening. Oh, okay, sounds good. Fishy gizzard shad here. Nice. All right, let's get this um, chenille on here. Spin that on there. Um, it's a peak. Uh, it's about all I know. Just peak. If you type in peak vice, it'll pull it up. About like that. Okay. Like for me to ask them? Yeah. Okay. I forgot the flash. Who? Okay, go ahead. Are you ready? Yeah. Which one is the worst for you to catch? Onions or garlic? Garlic. Sophie said, um, which is the worst for y'all to... What do you hate chopping more? What do you hate chopping more, onions or garlic? I whip finish, I do five um, 
five ties and then I hit it with Sally Hansen's hard as nails. It's basically uh, just fingernail. Yeah, fingernail polish. I didn't put the flash in this one, so I'll keep this one. But I'll tie another one, put some flash in it. But is that about what you're looking for? Um, you got a bunch of onions. Ken, your dad, and Corey said garlic. Mm. See, I need to make you cry. Perfect. All right, sweet. Sassy says garlic. Really? Yeah. Let me make another one of these, but put the flash. I'll keep that one. That one was my bad. <laughs> I got messed up with the... Let's make another one of these real quick. It won't take near as long now. We got the... We already got the hair mixed, so... Onions, because they make you cry. Who said that? Emily. Mm -hmm. Sophie said, mm-hmm. Daddy, Mom said I want to eat. Okay, come here. You want to say hola to Sessie? Yeah. Okay, come here. Okay, come here. Here. That's crazy. Here, let's leave this down here. You can come here. We'll tie this one with you on my on my lap. If you want to? Give me a link or something so I can buy them. Got to go to bed. Try to make a video tomorrow. Can you move All right, Slab Hunter. Um, can you move that over there? So do you have? There? No, well, let's not do that right now. I'm tying this. Um, hey, yeah. Do you have Facebook or Instagram, or you can email me? My email is natural state. Eric. Oh, say. Hola, Ceci. Take your fingers out of your mouth. Say, hola. No? Um, hola. My email is natural state, hola. Natural state fishing 18 hola. at gmail.com. Hola. 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 Are you a sweet boy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hola, Eric. Hola, Eric. Uncle Aaron, not Eric. Uncle and Eric. No. Aaron. Yeah, all Aaron. lowercase, yeah. natural Ola state. And hang on. Aaron. Hey, hang on. Okay. Natural state fishing 18 at gmail.com. And that'll be uh, that'll be the best way, Did easiest I, way probably to I, contact. And then we've got I, Cash App, PayPal. Quit, bud. Don't mess with stuff. Don't mess with stuff. Here, get down. You're done. Uh -huh. Say hola. Hola. Say buenos noches. Buenos noches. <laughs> They're all sending you dinosaurs. Uh -huh. All right. See you later. I want. Hmm. Hola. Hola. All right, now we're not going to forget the flash on this one, so. That made her smile big. Awesome. All right, now we get the flash here. Just crystal flash. We'll get probably two strands.
Gracie yawn. What? All right, yeah, I got it. Northeast. Over 10 jigs. Yeah. I got you, Northeast Slab Hunter. I got you, man. Just about done with this one here, and we'll see if it's a little more to your liking with that flash. My bad about forgetting it on the first one. Throw this on. Staying on for this one, all right, yeah. Make sure that flash and stuff's what you like. I'm knocking stuff over with my Fitbit. Woody. Not right now. Be just a second, okay? What I was cutting that off. No, no, I cut you that off. Is this a punch? Are you a punch? It is a punching bag, yep. It's a little baby punching bag. Can I put this table that white thing and I then put that on the table? If you want to. All right, let's check this one out with the flash. Hey, this is tough. See how we get, see how we get it out? There you go with some flash down it. It's a little better, huh? Phone died. Right row. Looks good, sweet. Looks money. I guess I need to put a bright colored thing like this on our on our website too, but sweet. I'll uh hang that one up on my vice so that I know what to make nine more of. I appreciate it guys. Thank y'all. It's a little baby something. Can you help me get that out? Let's cut. Radioactive. Can that would be a good out? name for it. Can you help me get that out? It's cut. Can you help me get that out? It's What's cut. stuck, buddy? That, that side. Oh, there you go. How's that? You want to go do it on your Paw Patrol table? No, it, it won't stick on there. It won't stick on there? Be willing, yeah. It, it won't stick on, on here. Oh, be willing to bet elsewhere, too. It doesn't stick on my nice. hand. It don't stick to your hand, either. Look at it. Bet I could catch a snag with it. <laughs> I'd call it Little Mermaid. Nice. Yeah, I... Look at it. 
at it. It's going to take my hand like that. It is stuck to your hand. I can't believe it actually stuck. I can definitely, yeah. I can catch a snag with the best of them. Can I, are you milking sheep sheep to go on there? Put my hand, what? Can I, I know sheep sheep on there? My hand on my mouth. Yeah. What do you mean? So it can stick on there. So, so this baby booming bag, so it can stick on there. I was going to go ahead and do another one since I've got the hair already mixed up here for it. Bank fishing adventures, Push. Mr. Stacy. Why did I put glue on it? Oh, oh, what? Why did I put glue on it? Hang on, let's let's tie this let's tie this one first because it's got um I've got stuff on the table. See the hair on the table? Yeah. Don't breathe on it. <laughs> no, 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 don't. Hang on. No, don't do that. I'll do it. Don't do that. You will do it. I know you. Quit. Quit it. Quit it. I'm not doing it. You're going to. I won't. I know, yeah, you won't. You stink. I won't. I know you will. I won't. You won't? <laughs> I'm going to put it in my hackle pliers anyway, okay? Yeah. Now, <laughs> now you can do that. Um, don't have Cash App, do you have PayPal? Or you can go to our website, um, rockcreekbaitcompany.com and just pick pick 10 random whatever 8th ounce jigs and just check out through there if you want to do that. It'll take a... Punch it. Daddy, it's... Can I put it out there? It'll do like Apple and Pay or just straight... Here, bud. Not right now. Yeah. It'll do straight. Just check out with your card or whatever on our website. It will tax you. That's the only thing that's gonna kind of stinks that about the. Floor? Yeah, you yeah, can do it on the floor. The only thing that's gonna stink about doing it on the website is you're gonna pay taxes. Where I try not to tax through PayPal or stuff. Hey, what's up, fish head videos? Welcome in, welcome in. If you've got PayPal, we've got PayPal as well. Dylan, I think you need to snooze. Yeah, no doubt. He's got to be getting close. Apprentice tire. Me too, yeah. Oh, yeah, him. Yeah, as soon as he's old enough, he's going to be doing this for me because uh, I'll i have to go do the testing, you know. All right, that sounds good, Northeast. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, for sure, you can just pick out, like, whatever random jig just to get 10 because this color is not on our website. And then you can just buy 10 random jigs, and I'll know coming from you to send you the this color. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, just holler at me tomorrow, man. I'm off tomorrow. Be happy to get back with you for sure through email. So I got your email, and uh, I'll holler at you tomorrow. I appreciate it. And thank you so much for your order, too, and hanging out and just being a part of the, the little fishing family we got going on here. Get that, uh, get this last one done here. Got it figured out. Yeah, man, for sure. Have a good evening. All right. Mr. Corey, what size was you wanting, Corey? I, uh... 
I doubt I have anything small enough for you here. Poor painted. I might. I got some 30 seconds laying over there. That might be small enough for you. Oh, slab hunter catches radioactive crappie. 30 seconds. Sweet. I got some 30 seconds painted up. I know for sure you's wanting some green eggs and ham. Maybe. I don't know what you was wanting. I don't remember. I don't have the victory hooks. They will be here. Do you want to wait on those? They will be here um, either tomorrow or Monday, I believe. Corey needs a Terminator. Thump, you slow trolling. Oh. Corey's not trolling, I can tell you that. I don't think. Yeah, if you want to wait on the victories, uh, they'll be here like Monday or either tomorrow or Monday. It hurts. It hurts. He is the dangling master. Okay. Gives it that vertical dangle. There's another one of his, uh, that radioactive, whatever. I would have absolutely no confidence at all. If this was tied on the end of my line. What's wrong with you? It hurts. What hurts? Your belly? No. Look. <laughs> you would. Man, I got no faith in a bright color like that unnatural here for some reason i've got nothing no faith who knows you would throw it sweet corey has got the terminators raising kids being a husband and working for the next thump that's Corey, for sure let's tie one of those new uh new mud bug ones florida fish are crazy have you seen slab hunters crappie i have not stacy i'm gonna have to get over there and pick his channel up i think that was a new name for me so i might get over there and check him out he knows what he's doing knows what he's doing with that color huh dylan will quit jumping your belly might not hurt bud you're jumping like crazy, boy. I'm, I'm jumping like a tiger. Like a tiger? The tiger jumps. The tiger jumps, too. Tigers jump, yeah. Shaking. Gracie's shaking because she's terrified of you. Why? Because she's afraid you're going to jump on her. Get some brown thread. Slow roll that jig, though. Oh, yeah. Way above slab. Uh-oh. I'll get up there and check them out for sure. If it's way above slab level, then I got to go check it out. So what color tail for this guy? It's gonna be that red bug head and this mud bug chenille. Come here, mud bug. Mud bug. Mud bug, where you at? Man, brown. That eagle claw rod, though. Slow roll light jigs on Talcon. Throw eighth for casting if we get on them. Nice. Give that 
Chanel a good run. Run or rub? That's some. There's a bunch of it. It's supposed to be 72 yards, so. Oh, fish my eagle claw. Black eagle. Love that rod. Have an Okuma Samar. Nice. That's awesome, Ken. I'm just tickled to death that you're out there slaying those bluegill on their John boat. That makes me so happy to see. I'm really excited for you to see a uh, rub, yeah. I thought you knew. Nice, boring new. Dylan, get up here. Now. Did he pull his pants down and pee? No. But he just told me he did, it was it was completely dry. But he peed right before we got up here. That's something you can go do in the potty. You know what I'm saying? He peed in the potty twice this afternoon. Did they get up on the roof? I can't reach you. You're too far away. Found the end. All right, we got it. Oh, yeah. We in business now, fellas. All right. Here, them say Mars are nice. Boring nose. Oh, yeah. You got to try those jigs. Got to find some light line. Okay. Going to Sportsman's. I use um the four-pound Vicious. Hi, Viz. Or two pound. Now I've been using um that two pound trout SOS. And it is really good. Been really good line too so far. The lighter the line, the further you're going to be able to cast them. The little jigs, so... Man, I still don't know. A oh, wet willy. I'm out. Good night, hosses. All right. <laughs> good night. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, good night, Ceci. Buenos noches. And hasta luego. I've never tried two-pound line. It's a lot of fun. So far, I've enjoyed it. I think I'm going to go this brown on this uh, this jig here. She said good night. Thank you. Gonna need a little bit of flashy flash up in here. I think I'm gonna go with that pearl, the same stuff we were just using. Oh, good night. Village dweller. Might even buy a reel for my light action ugly sick. Blue reel went through, still stiff, thinking something with an instant and a reverse and ball bearings. Oh yeah. Um a Shimano Sienna 500. You can get them at Walmart. I want to say they're $20. And they're a great, great little reel. Or a great little budget reel for sure. 
Um, you can also, like, the one that I just got, and I think Corey uses one. I know Chris at Pistol Creek Pan Fishing uses one. It's a Daiwa Revros 1000, and it is just ridiculously great. And it's like $50. Listening in on the way home from work. All right, man. Drive safe. Be careful. Thirty for the Sienna one thousand. Oh, okay. Want like a two thousand or smaller? Yeah, that's the. Uh, my Revros is a one thousand. Oh, yeah. Literally could throw the length of a football field. Even like a 30-second ounce jig, you could throw them a country mile. Sportsman says a wide selection. Let's see what they have. Almost bought a 13. Oh, you think the 500's 30 also? Okay, yeah. Nice. Die all the way. The Revros was 50 bucks. Mine was 49. I throw 20 feet. <laughs> yeah, that happens. I can throw a 30 second ounce jig probably a good 60 feet. Now that's on that seven foot ACC and that Revros with two pound line. College town taxes, yeah, no doubt. All right, let's spin this on here. This is that Louisiana mud bug color. I think Louisiana crawfish, or I don't, I don't know what it was called, but it's gonna be sweet with that red bug head, I think. Oh, I missed. It wasn't the scissors fault, I can tell you that. Those things don't play. I talk good about those every live stream, but y'all may get tired of hearing it. And I'm not sponsored by Anadromus at all. Holler if you want to. I will, uh, I don't know. Talk about you more, but they are sweet. They're fantastic scissors. Check out this, uh, that red bug, whatever. Uh, not much. I mean, he, he told me thank you for that video that we put out. I like that color, that brown, but it's got... Got a bunch of that. Just color in it. That red bug head's got a bunch of glitter and stuff in there. I'm not sure I like that flash. I don't think it goes well.
it'll take some playing around. Yeah, those scissors are sweet for sure. Your 13 fishing reel is a line tangler. The rod's only five foot and rated four to 10 pound. Mighty fine jig, fine like frog hair. <laughs> Let's do one more. I wanna do something, maybe put it on a gold. Put that same chenille on a gold head. See what that looks like. So these are Mustad skipjack hooks. I'm going to all victory hooks. They are a lot sharper even than these hooks are. It's still got the V, the sickle shape. They're shaped a lot like these. I mean, they're the sickle's a little bit different, but the point, they're a lot sharper and they're a little finer wire. Um, I believe the measurements on this number one Mustad hook, I believe, measures 38 thousandths. And I think the uh, Victory measures like 33, 34. So it'll be a little easier hook setting. They're a lot sharper. They've got an AccuSharp needle point on them. I don't have them in yet. They'll be here uh, very soon. And... Yeah, if anyone wants to order some hooks, January, um, the month of January, all Victory hooks are 20% off. You can't order them from that website you just shared, Corey. You'll have to go to doitmolds.com or barlowstackle.com. You can buy them on Tackle Warehouse. Um, I don't think they sell directly to individuals maybe i think they sell to other shops they're they do cost twice as much as these hooks do as far as me buying them you know by the thousand or whatever um they're twice as expensive but that's all right. I'm going to leave my jigs the same price because I found this supplier to hook me up with the chenilles in a huge quantity for cheap. So it's kind of just finding my way around. Yeah, better hook sets for sure. They're slick, thin. I mean, they're crazy. And I already use Victory on all of my any of my bucktails and my bladed jigs now are all victory hooks. So it's not a brand new company to us as far as, you know, we're not just blindly going in. I know they make a good product, but. And they're, they are more expensive, but that is what it is. I want to have the nicest stuff possible, so. On that note also, I'm going to have about 7,000 of these Mustad jigs on a discount, if anybody's interested. <laughs> I've got 7,000 hooks here. So, that's something. I'll be having to get rid of those somehow at a discount, I guess. I thought about using them as giveaways, just the Mustad hooks as giveaways, but I don't want to do that because I want people to get what I really use because if for some reason they don't like the Mustad hooks and then they got them as a giveaway and think that's all I got, that ain't no good. So I'm gonna put a little gold in this one. First thing I'm gonna do is put this chenille, or this flash back up. Keep it from getting tangled best I can. Oh, 
Just need one piece of gold. I think a little bit's gonna go a long way on these. All right, what's up? Finding them deals. Yeah, just trying to. You know, I would rather pay a little more and have a better hook. You know what I mean? Scope or no scope? <laughs> Sophie is team no scope. I'll tell you that. She ain't about it. Domingo. Yeah, the new Sienna is red and black. Gray and champagne colored. Huh. Loving your new Sienna. Nice. Available from 500 to the two 4,000 size locally for $29.98. 30 bucks. You was right, Stacy. Nice. They are a good little reel. <laughs> For sure, ain't nothing wrong with them. <coughs> Bless you. Walmart's price for the bubble pack. Yep. Yeah, that's where uh, that's where I've got mine from. Lose has a little reel as well, a little like five hundred size that's comparable to size and price of that Sienna. And Sophie actually has it on her ten foot jigging rod, and it's a decent reel too, but. I just think Shimano is going to be over lose. The LZR Pro, yeah, now that's something different. That's a that's sweet. I think Sophie has that 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 one as well. I think her coral colored pole is an LZR combo. LZR Pro. Is an LZR Pro? Yeah, that's what she just said. Speed stick. That's what Travis uses too. Um, well, he uses a. It's on Ugly Stick GX2, but. No, mine's a lens. Yeah. I'm a new one. My reel is getting jacked. Her reel squeaks. Mm. No, it's not squeaky. It's. I don't know. You don't have to fish with it. Like the, the bell doesn't go all the way down. I have to make it go down. Yeah. It's just very used. It's definitely. You've got a lot of fish with that reel. I snapped my thread off, in case y'all didn't, in case y'all didn't see that. I'll go ahead and tell you I messed it up. That's all right. Ain't nothing a little tight back down can't fix. You've wore out two Fluger try-ons. 
need to order bell spring bell springs before i'm doing familiar familiarity whatever that was mono will be fine oh yeah for sure you're basically vertical jigging for those um those bluegill anyway huh or vert, kind of drop shot, modified drop shot in your night crawlers down there. I think the gold, this, I think that's gonna be more, more of what I'm after out of that color wise, I think. Corey, is that natural? Is that going to get eight? Stop. What color one, uh, 30 second you want in there? 100% casting. Oh, 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 okay. Got to go 10 miles off. Oh, root beer. Max eight foot deep. Some of your old dead ones. It does look like it looks like the root beer one, yeah, for sure. Max is eight foot. Let's see here, Corey. I've got a little bitty red bug, one thirty second. You wanna throw one on there for you? See what it uh, what it looks like on a small jig. That Chanel's gonna be a little big for this small we'll see what it looks like do you want that gold flash on it too oh this is a different color i don't have any gold what were you wanting in particular were you wanting anything in particular or is it just kind of like i always do <laughs> oh of course, asbestos on here with that new with that new material. It's starting to get picked over a little bit, though asbestos tree. <laughs> Cracks me up that you like this material. It's a Christmas tree. You gotta give the man what he wants. He catches crappie, so you can't argue with him. Get off the old Christmas tree here. What's hilarious about that tree is we were at one, this has been like two years, or at least a last, it was last Christmas. We were at Sophie's parents' house and I was just completely joking with um, Sophie's mom. I was like, look at all the jigs on that tree. I could make a bunch of jigs out of that tree, you know, whatever. She's like, well, you can have it. I'm like, no, I'm gonna take your tree. That's crazy. And she was like, well, I'm done. I think I'm done with it or something. I don't know. Anyway, I ended up with it. And then I sent one to Corey made out of it, messing around. And he liked it, I guess. Caught fish on it anyway, the asbestos. Some of his thumbnails have the um, asbestos exposure, like, sign in it. It's pretty hilarious. Is it like a danger sign? <coughs> it's a flashy color here. It's so wild. It doesn't even seem flashy. It's just kind of... I don't know. Just kind of matte green or matte yellow I meant Lola never missed it <laughs> Come on.
Come on, time clock. You got six minutes. You get off at, I guess, eleven thirty, or no? You're you're Central Time, aren't you? Eleven thirty. Bummer. What do you think, Corey? Just got home. What do you think about the asbestos? One thirty second ounce. Louisiana mud bug. I left it long and put way too much on it because I know you like to trim it off like you like it. That's going to sink slow. Going to sink slow. That's on that red bug head. That's hilarious. I just happen to have a 30 second ounce Terminator done right next to it. It's a little, got a little wild on the resin. So I'm gonna throw it in there for free just cause it's a kind of a goofed, goofed resin job. Corey's awesome and always be supporting us. I got all sorts of stuff here. Corey's gonna end up with an assortment. Do they have trailer hooks? They can go on like a jig, like this kind of jig, or like a. They've got trailer hooks for um, spinner baits and stuff. Ouch. The little jigs, um, I think the, the smallest ones, I think you had a one or two of the 180ths, but I think most of yours were 32nd and a, a couple of like eighths, I think. Don't get hooked on those Terminators. <laughs> I think he had, I think, I think he's had one. He already passed out. I can hear him snoring. Success. The only Terminator Matt gave me was victimized. Uh oh. Now you've had some green eggs and ham and some uh, asbestos and stuff like that victimized too, so. Get some more, some more uh, asbestos off of there. Tragedy. Oh, he's had a few victimized too, Corey.
Gonna go put them to bed. God is great. Much love, Corey. Good night. Yeah, I appreciate it, Corey. Thank you so much, my friend. I'll get you some uh, some special ones, and we'll get you a package care package sent out. If you want to, if you don't mind waiting um, on the new Victory hooks, I'll put those in a. I'll send you some of those as well, and we'll put them in a separate bag, and you can compare them side by side. Uh, Ken, I think, do you have Facebook? I think I'm going to sell all the must-add, the discounted ones, through the Facebook. Like today, I offered them um, five bags of three. Okay. If you can find Rock Creek Bait Company on Facebook, if you're not following us already, Follow us on there and keep an eye out. And I can even message you before I post sales or stuff to give you a heads up. But, um, like today I offered five bags of three. So it was 15 jigs, $30 shipped. It was just, uh, free shipping, kind of the deal I offered today. But what I'm going to do is try to just do a few bags here and there sporadically. Thank you, Corey. Here's you another asbestos. Oh, UV resin. Slick bodied asbestos one. What you think about that? That one right there, huh? What's happened? Are you all there? It's like the internet just went out. Let me know if y'all can still see me. Oh yeah, brother. Your macho man voice. Yes, okay, good deal. I see you, all right, thank you, good deal. I went gray and it said unable to connect, please retry, so I kind of didn't know what was going on. So we got it. Welcome in, Extreme Trout. Thanks for hanging out tonight with us. We're doing the tying thing that we always do. Um, just hanging out. I am no longer hanging out. Sophie is no longer hanging out. Sophie is abandoning ship and heading, heading upstairs. I love you. Good night. See you in the in the a.m. Oh, yeah. All right, good deal. I'm going to put a micro chenille on this one. I can put that one up for now. Put this up. And that. Okay. I think tomorrow I'm going to try to organize before I go live. 11.30. You going to get some hookup baits? One of these days. Oh, yeah. One of these days. Can you give me a discount code? <laughs> 11.30. All right, man. Going to wrap it up for the day. Thank you, Mr. Ken, for hanging out with me tonight. Hopefully, uh, what time are you going live tomorrow, my friend? I'm an hour ahead of you. I'm. It's 10.30 right now, so for me.
Oh, I don't know. It's random. Whatever time I'm settled in can make it happen. All right, sounds good. You can see me. All right, same here. Random. I know Corey done hitting the hay for the kiddos. But I also know that Corey's not picky and he kind of just lets me give him whatever. We kind of got an understanding that we've never talked about. He just kind of sends money and he just kind of tests stuff for us. Kind of correct. It's pretty funny. He's an awesome friend. That's a actual blood quill marabou. And I'm going to get out here and get just the tips of it. Get that feather there. Just like that. Get that cut off there. All right. Put that brown tail out there on it. We got this little micro Chanel, little orange Chanel. Put it on here. Whatever time. I'm going to go live um, again Saturday, tomorrow night. Um, I've got a community post out taking polls for what everybody was wanting to see. Last time I checked it, it was... Uh, streamers for river bass fishing we're gonna be tying tomorrow night maybe a few crappie jigs there was a few votes for crappie jigs so tie a few of those i'm gonna try to go at eight central so it'll be nine o'clock your time i believe if you're on before if you're live before me i'll definitely be in there for you see what you and the family's got going on that little jig here that's gonna be a small one that'd be a bluegill machine right here Twitching jigs, um, I don't, I don't, I guess I know what they are. A 38th, or a 38th, 3 eighths to half ounce, um, no. I actually just got a new mold today, a guy sent me, a uh, Matt from Want to Be Outdoors sent me a mold today and it come in so i uh will be pouring up to five eighths ounce that little guy a 30 second ounce marabou little jig Like the arrow twitcher? No, I guess not. Mm. 
that little fine chenille is pretty cool. Gotta move that. Uh, big long tail kind of requires special special method to fish them. Developed for salmon, 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 and steelhead. Lord. Uh -uh -uh. Let's do one more. Let's end one more on these. Uh, on my shad, big shad bucktail. Go gray, I think. Yeah. I got a white one and a gray one. Let's go black with this one. couple for you and send you send you with a few stickers and instructions okay awesome that'd be great I appreciate it yeah I've never uh, definitely never used one don't know that I've ever heard of one so that would definitely be an awesome awesome thing So this is an eighth ounce, and I'm gonna make one that sinks slow. So let's put some brakes on it, some feathers. See about three of those hackle feathers. Get those all spread out there and tied on. All right. Stretch that leg out. That thing hurts. Ooh. All right. Tomorrow night, I'm going to use up some purple. Tomorrow's going to be fun with that purple. This one's all pretty much used up. I'd have to start dipping into the white that's in my, uh, that's in the freezer. The tails from guys at work. I had several guys at work brought me tails and then uh, I harvested two myself. And just I probably got several, 30 or so in there.
the thing. Let's get a little more. Wasn't quite enough in there. I think the more hair you get in there, the slower it's going to sink. And all that under fluff and hair out. All it does is bulk up your tie. Get it out of there and then the rest of it will smash down a lot flatter. Like that. I'm gonna put some of this flash out the back. Whenever I first brought a couple of those jigs five, six years ago and learned the method, they were deadly on the coho salmon. That's awesome, man. I haven't, I would love to get up and catch some actual like trout or uh, steelhead trout or even the salmon or anything would be cool. Definitely want a medium action rod. Oh, the ultralight's not going to handle it, eh? kind of a firm lift and whip the rod back like you're trying to get a loop in your line hard to explain okay all on the wrist it will be emily yes last jig i tied for the night and then we'll go live again tomorrow night as well so I need to trim that off. Always do a great job getting that bucktail spread. Oh yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it gets a it gets a little little action, little volume to her. It's that thread, man. That um, that's Danville two ten denier, and it's pretty stout. I mean, you can pull on it. I mean, you can break it. Obviously, it's you know, it's not perfect. 
it's not impossible to break, but man, you can uh, you can sense down with it, especially if you make sure and pull straight. If you pull at an angle, that edge of your bobbin, that hard 90 degree, mine cuts it. But if I, that's why a lot of times I wrap and then when I pull, I'll pull. You was born in Danville? That's wild. That's crazy. I guess it's probably the same place that this is made. I don't know. What was Danville, Virginia? Nice. Used to find a pocket in the river between the riffle. Best ones had snags or deadfalls. Get that twitcher in there with the wood. Twitch, twitch, hold on. Because a salmon took and wants to pull. That is crazy. That sounds like a blast. I'm going to put just a strip of gray on top of this kind of hide a little bit of that flash give it just a little bit of color i had never made one with that kind of that flash in it yet so curious to see how it turned out All right, let's get this right on top. Ouch. Stuck that hook in my finger. Well, using that razor blade has just been a been a game changer too. I don't know if it looks as professional as using like a little exacto knife or getting in there with your scissors, but it's just so much quicker. 10, 12 pound fish, real start screaming. Man, I'll never forget those days with ice on the ground, see your breath, and those B-run coho were in the river. I hadn't even done it, and that sounds, sounds like I've been there, just from your description. I guess B-run is the, the second run, A-B, I don't know. I think we need a little bit of flash down the bottom. And I've got this Semper Fly stuff. Micro Glint Tinsel. I've been wanting to use it, so let's use it. Why not? And give it just a little bit almost yellow tinsel, which is going to be fine with me because the shad sometimes have some yellow on them. Second run, come in August into September and then October till January. Nice. Put that tinsel over here. See, it's just a real fluorescent.
think it'll look good spread out around the bottom side of this bottom side of this jig P-Run is mostly wild fish. Not a lot of hatchery fish around. Numbers are there. Usually the water is still too low to fish the A-Run, plus we are still ocean fishing whenever A-Run is in the river. Okay. Home sweet home. There you go, Mr. Stacy. Good deal. Glad to hear you made it home safe. It's always good. Always better than not making it home safe. What do you do for a job, guys? All y'all, if you don't mind. I'm a CNC lathe operator. Was a tube welder. I traveled around power plants for, oh, five years welding. Worked from Wyoming to Texas, Kentucky, Georgia, Alabama. Traveled around for a while. About five years. And then retired and moved home. I didn't retire. I still work full time now as a lathe operator. But powder metal. Okay, cool. Powder like powder coating or like foundry work powder. Fixed boat trailers prior to my move. I was lead man at a manufacturing facility. Sawmill oiler and millwright. That's cool. I worked with millwright, so I don't know. I don't know if it's kind of along the same thing, but the millwrights where I was at on in the power plants, like precision leveled machinery and set stuff up. I know Big Malone, he does pretty much the same thing I do. He's a, like, metal powder compacted into shock pistons. That's cool. Put some eyeballs on this guy and be done with it. Here's a little... The little cheap sticker eyes. These work just fine. This is my jig, so they ain't no ain't gonna be no fancy eyes for me. Well, I didn't want to lose it. I mean, flipped it off into my, into the unknown. Don't know where it went. Oh, worked in a hardwood mill, specializing in residuals. Set up chippers and grinders, worked with blowers, bins, and conveyors. That's cool. I run a lathe, um, It's about, oh, 26 foot, 28 foot long. And right now I'm running components to a development. It's a research and development job. It's a green energy project for a linear generator. We're developing a component to. So it's kind of a proprietary job right now, but 
It's called Mainspring Energy. You can look Mainspring up and find out some information. There's a um, video on their website on MainspringEnergy.com that has like a technology demonstration video. And they call uh, one of the components an oscillator. And that's the component that I'm running right now is an oscillator. It's a 86 inch long, 145, 155 thousandths thick piece of 17.4 pH stainless. Gets a bunch of magnets and stuff epoxy to it. and Essentially, it's a um, those flashlights that you like shake and they charge themselves. It has the little magnet that slides through the copper coils. Basically, what these generators are just on steroids. They're way bigger. Yeah, you remember those little flashlights that charge themselves? Yep. Yeah. Supposed to be one of these generators about 20 something feet long. And they take uh take up about the footprint of a car like parking spot but one generator powers like 97 percent of a home depot um it's put kroger's off off grid and it's like helping to combat the brownouts out in california to where they're not having to have as many brownouts so it's a neat project i am been over it pretty much for the last five years. So it's been a been a neat neat thing. Pays the bills, buys components to build jigs. So there's that one when it's all said and done. You can see that flash up top coming through. And then it's got that yellow glint on the bottom. The gray top, and then of course the head of the shad thing there is black. And then the bottom. Got some feathers and it ought to fall real slow, a little eighth ounce. Work it around like a swim jig or something and catch some fish. Uh, I don't hate my job, but isn't my favorite job I've ever had. Company takes good care of me. Get along with my coworkers. Learning a lot. That's awesome. That's a big part of it, Ken's being able to get along with your coworkers. So that's really great. Um, it's all part of starting over again. Really cool how that color is. Looks like a shad. Yeah. Thank you. That's what I was, what I was going for for sure. I've got more Bambi blade components here and I've got a one of these blades painted up. I was gonna make a bleeding shad. That color washes out really bad, but <laughs> that guy that works in my office is hard to deal with. <laughs> he works in his office alone. <laughs> Anywho, I think I'm gonna call her a night, guys. Wind it down and maybe let the chihuahua out one more time. Then get upstairs and get to bed. Uh, I'm going to pour some jigs tomorrow. Some of those walleye jigs. Um, I ordered some. I've got four aught, three aught, and two aught hooks coming. But I've got one aught all the way down to the 16th ounce took a like size four. So I've got some size fours. Size twos, size ones, and size one aughts. I'll pour those up tomorrow. I may go live while I'm pouring, just outside piddling around for a few minutes. 
I wear a respirator, so I'm not gonna be able to talk a whole lot, but it'll be fun. Get to see a neat little thing. I gotta paint some more of those heads and get that dude's tied up, get Corey's tied up. Tomorrow will be jigs all day. So I appreciate it. Good night, Papa. Welcome in. I'm sure you've been here, <laughs> been here all night, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we'll see you all tomorrow evening. Good night.